Okay, here's the Q179 envelope plus plus module, and we're going to talk a little bit about curves. On the oscilloscope here, we have the positive output on the top trace and the minus output on the bottom trace, and you can see they're inversions of each other. We have an extra source of gates here. Uh, this is coming from our Q173 gate math, and I'm going to experiment with uh, curves here and give you an idea of what this thing will do. So right now we have the attack, decay, and release set to zero and the sustain set to 100%. So we have basically a square wave coming out of here, but we're going to work on the attack here, and that's the beginning of the waveform here. And we're going to put our sustain down to 50% so that we can see the decay portion. And we're in linear mode now. So we have uh, straight lines with the rate of change. The curve switch here gives us the option of several curves, which can change the response to the envelope, for example, through a, a state variable filter, or if you're using the envelope generator to modulate an oscillator, you can really hear the difference here, but we're going to just look at the curves. So in exponential mode, this is the typical envelope that you see on an analog synthesizer, where the envelopes are created by charging a capacitor. So the uh, envelope is not a straight line. It's, uh, this is called exponential. So here we have our uh, attack decay, sustain level, and release time. Let's slow that down a bit to get a, make it a little bit bigger. OK, so that's exponential. And now you can see the curves. Now this middle position, it actually has three different possibilities, and every time you toggle through the middle position, you get one of the three options. And we're going to toggle through here, and we're going to look at the uh, waveform. Now what we have here is the opposite of exponential, and we're going to call this logarithmic. And you can see the curve on the attack, which is opposite of what an exponential attack would be, and the opposite on decay, and the opposite on release. So now let's toggle out of the middle position and back into the middle position. And now we're getting what I call bumpy. And this is a new combination of curves. It's uh, like an exponential on, on attack, but the decay and release is like logarithmic. And this sounds different when you use this waveform to modulate an oscillator. Now I'm going to toggle out of the middle position on the curve switch and back into it again. We're going to get the next option. And I call this curve peaky because it's exactly the opposite of bumpy. In other words, the attack curve is like logarithmic and the decay is like exponential. And of course, at any time you can move to linear, you can get your linear curve. So there's an example of the different curves that the Q179 Envelope++ module can give you.